Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here, and today's newsmatic news and information for the 15th day of August, 2022. I'd like to welcome you over to Good Morning to You with Tiny Numismatics, number 206. And that's going to be at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 6.30 a.m. Pacific. Now, it looks like the, uh, well, gold, uh, all of the precious metals are down this morning. Gold's down $12.60 to $17.97.80. Silver down $0.19 cents to $20.82. Platinum down $10.90 to $9.68.50. And palladium is down $14.90 to $22.41.50. Now, over here in the United States Mint, and would you look at that on their landing page, usmint.gov, it says here, look for the Nino Otero Warren quarter in circulation. So, yeah, that's absolutely happening today. According to coinnews.net and the U.S. Mint, and this is by Mike Unser on August 11, 2022, says here, Nino Otero Warren Quarters entering circulation on August 15th. That's today's date. So you'll probably be able to find those at the Walmart, the Taco Bells, your local bank, etc. Now it says here on August 15th, they're going to be begin shipping. That's the U.S. Mint is going to be begin shipping the 2022 Nino Otero Warren Quarters to the Federal Reserve Banks and to their coin terminals for distribution into circulation. And look at that quarter. Isn't that amazing? It's a beauty. Love that. Great looking, too. Um, and that's got to be in like an MS-68, I would think. It's probably a Denver strike. Now, it says here, as part of the U.S. Mint's four-year series of American Women Quarter Dollars, a total of five unique 2022 dated coins will be issued by year's end with designs honoring Maya Angelou, Dr. Sally Ride, Wilma Mankiller, Nino Otero Warren, and Anna Mae Wong. Now, this one here that we're looking at tomorrow, the one that's releasing in circulation today, well, that's the Nino Otero Warren Voto para la mujer, right, for women's voting. And that's amazing. And then the last one is going to be the Anime Wong Quarter. So this is really a big deal, folks. And um, if you think it's not, well, just look at the sales on eBay. And look at the fact that the United States Mint just yesterday, um, I think we found out during our live show um, on Sunday, that people who had enrollments for the P, D, and the S rolls of five or more were capped at three. And this just happened yesterday. So it's really incredible. Um, the fourth coin in our American Women Quarters program honors Nita Otero Warren, a courageous advocate for women, children, and Hispanic and Native American communities, said U.S. Mint Director Ventra C. Gibson. This quarter is designed to reflect the breadth and depth of accomplishments by Nina Otero Warren, who overcame challenges and obstacles she faced during her lifetime. Now, it's created by Chris Costello and sculpted by Craig Campbell. The Nina Otero Warren Quarter Reverse Tales depicts her on the left, flanked by three individual yucca flowers, New Mexico's state flower. The obverse, that's the head side of the series quarters, is the depiction of George Washington that was sculpted 90 years ago by Laura Garden Fraser. And her husband did the, what? That's right, the Buffalo Nickel, to mark... Washington's 200th birthday. Quarters for circulation are struck at U.S. Mint production facilities in Philadelphia and Denver. Now, that's really awesome. Now, let's check this out. This is going to be happening this week, and it's starting August 16th. That's tomorrow, and it's going to go on till I think, Saturday. That's the 20th. And what is it, you ask? Well, it's the 2022 Chicago World's Fair of Money. And that is going to be probably in a most amazing um, coin show since, well, since B.C., if you know what I'm saying, if you remember that term. Um, and, and what's going on at the World's Fair of Money this year? Well, check this out. United States Mint Director Venture C. Gibson is going to participate in the American Numismatic Association's 2022 annual World Chicago World's Fair of Money. That is awesome. How about that? And this came out August 12, 2022. Just about three days ago now, and this says here, United States Mint Director Venture C. Gibson, she's going to participate in the official ribbon-cutting ceremony for the ANA. That's right, so it looks like um, on the 16th she's going to be there. Ribbon-cutting ceremony for the American Numismatic Association's World's Fair of Money at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center in Chicago, Illinois. The ribbon-cutting will occur on Tuesday, August 16th at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and attendees will have an opportunity to meet that's so cool with Director Gibson while visiting the Mint booth at Hall F, booth 1925. The fair runs from August 16th through the 20th, 2022. Now, check this out. The Mint's going to have newly released 2022 American Women Quarters featuring Nino Otero Warren available. Oh, what? In the coin machine at its booth. Oh, my gosh. If somebody goes there, please take a picture and see what that's all about. Oh, that's amazing. Now, it's at its booth throughout the ANA week. Quarters honoring Maya Angelou, Dr. Sally Wright, and Wilma Van Kill will also be available at the booth for even exchange. The American Liberty Silver Medal also will go on sale August 18th. is going to be available at the show as well. I wonder how many they took over there. Gosh, that's so amazing. That's the American Liberty Medal with that horse on it, right? So it says here, attendees will also have the opportunity to speak with the United States Mint employees. That would be amazing. Hello, what? 
obtain free educational resources for educators, uh, educa educators. That's cool. Gather information on the U.S. Mint's uh, kit site. Engage in educational activities. Learn about Mint programs and operations and gain an understanding of the link between coins and American history and culture. Absolutely. That'd be pretty cool. Even if you're not a kid, or maybe we're all kids at heart, that would be pretty cool uh, to check that out. Now, it says here you can also participate in the treasure trivia game where children visit specific locations on the bourse floor to answer trivia questions designed to instill an appreciation for numismatics and i think that'd be really cool to find out what the um the treasure might be once you complete the trivia now it says you're all you can also blue a dis view a display of the upcoming american women quarters ornaments that'd be cool uh so if you can get a picture of that that would be outstanding uh send that to you know <laughs> The email address on the About section. View a display of the Special Limited Edition 2021 American Eagle at dusk and at dawn. 35th anniversary gold and silver one-ounce coins scheduled to be auctioned on September 1st. That's cool. September 1st. That's really cool. And then, uh, I didn't know about this. Get help downloading the My US Mint mobile application. And when do you ever get need help downloading an app from the App Store? That's kind of interesting. I thought that was, yeah. Now, check this out. This is really interesting. It says here a wide variety of mint products will be available for purchase over the counter, including the presidential silver medals, 2022 proof and silver proofs, silver proof sets, and the 2022 commemorative coins honoring the Negro Leagues baseball and the National Purple Heart Hall of Honor. And I would think that the products I would be into, maybe, um, you know, it, 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 the colorized purple heart coin, you know, I think that's just an amazing coin. Uh, limited run, and they did such a really, just a, it's so well done. I just got to hand it to them. So um, let's go on to the next tab here. I know we're running out of time, and I think it is the mid schedule. So this is the week that starts today. Well, it started yesterday and Sunday, but here we go. This is what's going to be available. Now we have the Millard Fillmore Presidential Silver Medal. And what's odd about this, and I pointed out before, it is from San Francisco. Normally, we don't get medals out of San Francisco. So I thought that was really interesting. Normally they're done in Philadelphia. So check this out. I'm going to go here to the San Francisco um, sort and you'll see what I'm talking about here. I'm sorry. It's taken forever. There we go, San Francisco. Bam. So there we are. Very short little quick trip down back memory lane here. So that's basically this whole week. You got August 15, 16, 16, and then there was another one that came out here just a bit ago uh, at the end of this week. So incredible incredible week and um for those san francisco medals that's super incredible i just don't understand what's going on with that but um if you do look into it further you'll see that the presidential silver medals don't usually have um well any information about the mint okay and then this is one is philadelphia and that one is like i said this one's going to be available for sale at the ana show in chicago american liberty 2022 silver medal so if you're busy and you can't get online the Mint looks like they're going to make these available for you to buy at the show. And I don't know how many they've made available. So I would probably have a strategy. Yeah, definitely. No, no, Now, as far as this week goes and being super duper intense, you know, um, I don't think there's another day that has been this intense at the United States Mint. And, it, and it's really, is it um, any coincidence that it happened during the ANA in Chicago? I don't think so. I think this was all deliberate and done during this ANA Chicago week because, let's face it, I think the Mint is going to be stealing the show this year because of this coin here, and or this medal and this medal here. And obviously, with those coin kiosks that you have there, oh, yeah, thank you, please. Now, let's go here to coinnews.net, and there's an article by Mike Unser dated August 12th. And it talks a little bit about what we just ran over here. It says U.S. Mint scheduled multiple product releases throughout week of August 15th, including rolls and bags of the Nino Otero Warren quarters, one ounce, three nines fine silver medals featuring President Middle of Fillmore, the Air Force medal, and a modern rendition of the American Liberty coin. Okay, so that's all happening during the week of the ANA. And I don't think it's any coincidence, like I said here. So it's kicking off the week. You got these things we just talked about, the piece marks the... Um, August 15th release, Millard Fillmore Presidential Silver Medal, and it's going to be available for $65. That's today, actually, okay? The piece marks the 13th issue from the Mint's Presidential Silver Medal Program. Like past issues, it has no mintage limits or ending availability date and carries a matte finish. Current Presidential Silver Medal sa range sales range from 12016 for the last one depicting Zachary Taylor to 32454 for the first one honoring George Washington, okay? Now, 
Also this week, rolls and bags of the uncirculated Nino Otero War Quarters launch Tuesday, that's manana tomorrow, August 16th, one day after they begin their journey for circulation. I thought that was really cool. The coin marks the fourth from the U.S. Mint's four-year American Women Quarters program, and uh, it's going to have five in a year, per year, a series that recognizes the contributions made by women to the history of the United States. Isn't that cool? Now, most of the Nina Otero Warren quarters are accounted for, and that's the ones they're selling online through the Mint's website, are accounted for through earlier enrollments, meaning few will be available on release. However, seeing how yesterday we had some information from Silver Wolverine, uh, and a couple others about their enrollments being capped at three. I believe the Mint has shaken a few loose from that enrollment tree, and they're going to be making probably, I would say, less than 200 available for the drop tomorrow. Um, so that'll be kind of interesting to see. In fact, I might check that out here before I give you the uh, the plus ones. Now, it says here, issued as part of the Mint's Armed Forces Silver Medal Series, a U.S. Air Force one-ounce silver medal, also goes on sale August 16th, Priced at $65 and without limits, the matte finish collectible is a companion to the no longer available 2.5-ounce version, which debuted in July of 2021. Okay, so that's amazing. Um, it says here, finally, the 2022 proof, that's the P-proof, American Liberty Silver Medal launches on Thursday, August 18th for $75, limited to 75,000 units. This medal complements the no longer available 2021 West Point minted $100 proof American Liberty gold coin. Now, both share the design of a wild American Mustang horse bucking off a Western-style saddle. Now, it's not the exact same uh, design. It's not a mirror image. Um, there are some changes here, like the um, the tail and the mane and the saddle is the only one touches the E in Liberty, while the, uh, well, you'll have to see it here. Now, here you go. This is the Mint's product schedule for the week following. And there are what? You got the four of the uh, women's quarters, two here. So that's what, seven total? Yeah, it's going to be a serious week for people's wallet if they're going to get all of these products. That's very intense. Now, let me see if I can just, I just, I'm curious as to what the numbers are going to be available for that three roll set. How many did they shake loose? Yeah. So I'm going to give you the page source, control F. And I'm going to do data available and, uh, Oh, I probably should have done a little bit better of a, uh... yeah, look at that. This is the PD and the S. It says 5,940, but I don't think that they've accounted for the difference on enrollments just yet. Yeah, because look, it says 7,620, and you know there was way more enrollments than that. So there we go, up to the plus ones. Now, why did the orange lose the race? Well, because it ran out of juice. Yeah. Oh, also. Next time you think of beautiful things, don't forget to count yourself in as one of those beautiful things also. That's really important. Now, over here to 95.9 .9 KOIN Coin News Radio. This is Brian Adams' Run to You. Now, this is the classic version, and it has been re-recorded for y'all to check that out. So here it is. That's it. I'm going to leave a link in the description for all the stuff I've covered this morning. <sighs> How's that feel? We're done. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. Listen, I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're hearing, see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker. Oh.